Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Unmatch Jeff, and we're here with episode 59 of Assassin's Creed Unity. In the previous episode, we finished up the two secrets of the Revolution Paris stories, the Chemical Revolution and the American Prisoner, and also completed the Easter egg, which had us uh, going around several boroughs in the Southern Island, eating a piece of cake, and then coming back to uh, the Palace de Luxembourg and fighting the unique enemy that spawns on top of a giant cake. As you do. Anyway, uh, back to the serious gameplay. We are, of course, in the very last memory of the main story of Assassin's Creed Unity, the one thing keeping us from 100%. So we're at the temple, of course, as Robespierre uh, gave us a piece of paper telling us that that were, is where Germain is. So we're going to do this last memory. It all, it all comes to this. Germain is hiding somewhere in the temple. Find him and kill him. All right. So we've got three assassin points, one secret, and one um, piece of armor on outfit piece. It is an outfit piece, I think, uh, that we get from complete this memory. We should split up. I'm not sure that's... Less chance we both get caught that way. I suppose that's true. We'll rendezvous inside. If you get a shot at Gemma, you take it. Oh, goddamn. She's getting serious. Well guarded, that's for sure. Germain's built himself quite a fortress. I can't see any weak spots. <laughs> hey, great. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, assassinate Germain. You have nine entrances, 62 guards, 14 hiding spots, and two alarm bells. Right here, then. So there aren't any opportunities to uh, make things a bit easier on us. Oh. Double air assassinations and alarm bell sabotaged. Right. Oh. Really? Dro Arno! Arno! Well done. Well done. You had to wait until he got detected and then you decided to drop down, didn't you? I want to see if we can get a double assassination of those two guards over there. This guy over right now is still on my ass. Okie dokie. Hmm. Oh, there's another. Oh, there's actually a. Uh... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have a cunning plan. Call me Blackadder. Okay, oh jeez, oh jeez. Someone there. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna bolt. Can you can you get up there? No, seems not. Oh god. Okay. Phew. Hmm. 
separate, what are you doing? There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. It seems like the Grand Master spends a lot of time in the catacombs to you. You haven't heard? He thinks he's Jacques de Molay reborn or some such. You're joking. Not even a little. He's probably down there trying to commune with his half life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mad as a hatter. I don't think de Molay is even buried down there. That's like not good. Mad as a hatter. Ah! Sure Still fair. Shit. Ah. What was that? I don't think we're going to be able to get up. Air assassination on those guys anyway. Coming for us now, are you? Get both of them. Never mind. I, oh my god, that's totally counted. Okay, 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 okay. What, what are you doing? There's an alarm bell down there. Cool. That was our, another opportunity to get a ship of that as well. Never mind. Cut these goons. Everybody's attention. <laughs> and you. Come on. Come on. Oh, you saw through my rooms. Right, okay. Hmm. Hold a moment. Should I come over? Who saw that? Correction, nobody saw that. Okay, that's one. And there's another one around this courtyard, wasn't there? Oh, ooh, shucks. Huh. Oh yeah, it's, they'll just start for a second then. No, you don't. 
That's the one thing you won't be doing, my friend. Okay, we've reached 10 minutes. Let's swap over our weapon. So with heavy, we're on two. We can't get that one. Uh, the officer's round axe. This heavy axe is usually reserved to the strongest soldiers. All right, so upgrade you. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll end up... All right, cool. Let's do that again. I don't know why that's taken health off me, but I'm sure. Right, so let's cover the optionals. I assume he's probably going to be in the main tower, isn't he? He's a big bad. Of course, that's where he's going to be. <laughs> I'd be very surprised if he wasn't. Let's put it that way. Oh, yep, there he is. I see you. You're on your Todd as well. That doesn't seem like a wise idea. Oh, hello. What is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> My sentiments exactly. So the prodigal assassin returns. I suspected as much when the Tush stopped sending his tax revenue. The direct approach from an assassin. How refreshing. I suspected as much when Latouche stopped sending his tax revenues. I will find you. You've become quite the thorn in my side. What? Oh. Now the spear got executed. The train of terror served its purpose. The metal has been fired and shaped. Quenching it will only set its form. The darkness cannot protect you. Why so persistent? Is it revenge? Did Belek indoctrinate you so thoroughly that you do his bidding even now? Hmm. Or is it love? Has Delacere's daughter turned your head? You cannot hide from me, boy. Oh, he's got like an eagle vision of sorts, hasn't he? Oh. Oh, he's is, is he just disappeared into nothingness. Of course he has. <laughs> How? What? What? How did you do this? Gently. Big move. You <laughs> Leaving chance for the defense up. Start down this way. Oh, oh, just go in the water. That's, that works as well, I suppose. Right. I don't want to stay on the ground because I don't know how many gals there are still about. Oh. Don't. Don't you get assy with me, boy. Two games are sort of on their own. Oh boy. Let's have some fun, shall we? Oh, for God's sake. So we're not right on the edge. Of course, everybody in the vicinity saw me do that. There we go. You won't shake me. <laughs> oh, 
I've got to deal with that guy who's just shooting you all up. Right, you know, sod you I'm going. Come after me if you dare. Oh, hello. Wrong turn. Interesting. Oh, very bright. Very bright, my eyes. It burned my eyes. Ah, of course. This is where the start of the game was. Oh. as well. This is quite the reunion. Stay hidden. Keep him talking. Control. Did your father teach you nothing? The order has grown complacent. Skulk all you like. Oh, yeah, bastard. So cheating, that's my tool. The order has grown complacent. For centuries, we focus our attention on the trappings of power, the titles of nobility, the officers of church. Looking at me. Caught in the very lie we crafted to shepherd the masses. Do you think yourself safe? Shadows. I hate you so much. I'll kill you. You're not listening. Killing me won't stop anything. When our brother Templar see the old institutions crumble, they will adapt. They will retreat to the shadows, and we will at last. Oh. Not be doing that. Five seconds, dude. I do Bit of rubble. Every protagonist's weakness. Oh no. I'm stuck. He's getting away. Wait, I'm almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. Oh, no, no, you've done. I'm sorry. Of course we're trapped, that means that we can't save our lady love. Good. 
Elise! 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 Elise, no. Well, that's a bummer. It's inevitable, dude. The game chose you. You became trapped, she had to fight it alone, she died. That's just the way that all the games go. You, you couldn't have had a happy ending. Come on, you're an assassin for God's sake. <laughs> I mean, sorry for the lack of sentiment if you're expecting it, but this is like the third time I finished this game. I, I knew the ending. <laughs> Alright, mister. Bad enough for you. Oh, you've no blade there. That probably wasn't supposed to happen. He's tripping balls. Bravo, you've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Dr. Malay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Malay. And I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. <laughs> Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exiled in the basement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. The Templar Grand must have seemed to go pretty deep when they're about to die, don't they? Okay, well. Our work is done. Well, for now. But at what cost? Oh lad, he's had the full assassin treatment, hasn't he? He's lost, it, lost everyone he's ever loved. But unlike the others, he's not really found people to replace it with. There we go. So we got the Sword of Eden and Arno's Master Assassin outfit. And the last three assassin points we need two. So we should be able to finish all that up today. 
Very good. All right. I believe that leads us into the ending cutscene credits. Obviously, I usually give my thoughts on the game when the credits roll, but we still have the Dead Kings DLC to run through, so I'll save my thoughts till then. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would. To pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives, in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves. Deep. <laughs> Thank you, Arno. Years later. Oh, there's your man. Napoleon. I thought years went to was going to cut to the future. Uh, Bob, back to the present, but. That's the one. So I take it he got them visions because he was a sage, wasn't it? Like, um, like Roberts and, um, what's he called? Is he John? The guy who was in present day AC4, John Standish. So one of the people is like a reincarnation of uh, Juno's husband. All right, there we go. That's the end of the main story. Of course, we've still got a few weeks more of Dead Kings to go through before we're completely done with this game, but we should be at 100%. Very nice. Um, I don't believe what I'm seeing. I won this fight two centuries before it started. Well done, kid. Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are going to be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this sage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arnold's memories for anything else you might have seen. Like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. So what you're telling me, Bishop, is this game was a complete waste of time. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the commentary here and let the credits play out. At the end, I will go through our database and progress tracker as per usual and then we'll pick up next episode by heading into France Yard and beginning the Dead Kings DLC. So before we wrap up let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My £5 plus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 plus patrons in the description down below and on screen you'll see credits my £1 plus patrons. Thank you so much everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to of the channel so I do thank you a lot for that and if you wish to join those patrons you can follow the link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did be sure to like, comment and subscribe and also be sure to share the video. I'll see you guys in episode 60. Bye guys.
My love, as I write this, you are asleep. If the light wakes you, I'll have some explaining to do. But at this moment, you are sleeping peacefully. Tomorrow is the day, it seems. The culmination of five long years, a moment of revenge. So why can I not quiet this part of me which fears that, at the tipping point, you will flinch? Is it that I fear you loved my father less than I? Or do I doubt your resolve to strike the killing blow? I do not think so. Rather, I fear that you have lost so much already that you cannot bear to lose more. I think that you would let Germain rule France if you thought it would save me. Have you ever known me to need saving? Have you ever had cause to think that I would accept it if it were offered? My fate is my own. My choice is my own. If somehow we both return from this, I will burn this letter. If you are reading it now, then I made my choice there in the temple. Know that I made it gladly. And do not take the burden of it onto yourself. Be at peace, my love. And walk what path you will. All my love, Elise. Brings back some memories. <laughs> Brings back some memories. takes me back. Everything changes.